Hey, welcome to Rock Painting Workshops and today we are going to work on a hip hop Easter Bunny rock. So I've got all my supplies here. I've got some water and microfiber cloth and paintbrush, my paint pens, and I am painting on the back of my Fox Rock. And just there, I've already laid down the white paint because I had some extra from a previous tutorial that I did. So instead of wasting the paint, I just popped it down on this rock ready to go. Okay, so at the moment, I'm just putting a little bit of the um, glitter pens, oh, well this one's not glitter, but just a few different colors to make that original bit of color that was on the rock, just make it work with the design rather than, than not. Um, because on the fox on the other side, it had some blue background that I'd added water to, so it leaked onto this side. Yeah, so I'm just making it work. Everyone that knows me, you know that I double my rocks. I paint something on both sides before I go and hide them. And now I'm just laying down my base color, uh, the first layer of acrylic paint. So I say acrylic paint because the pens I use are acrylic paint pens. Okay, so same thing, whether you're painting this with a brush and your bottle paint. Ugh, okay, that's an old paint pen. Okay, that's completely run out, so I don't know why I kept it in my supplies. But here we go, this one's working great. So yeah, the acrylic paint uh, or acrylic paint pens works really well. Nice opaque colours and you only need two layers. So I'm just going to pop down all this colour onto the hip hop. And a lot of people said, oh, I have trouble with text. And this one here is not meant to be in straight lines. It's a little bit all over the place, so it's a little bit sort of bouncy and that's on purpose so when you're using this kind of writing as text just treat every letter as a separate element and like it's a drawing okay so you're not writing text so the H I'm coloring in now I put that down as a drawing of the letter H so I could just easily do my outlines and then put in the carrot and the, the carrot for the I and the bunny for the O. So I'm just going over it now with my second layer. And once you've got the, the two layers of paint pen, it's really opaque because it's a good quality. And so it won't be all translucent and wishy-washy. The first layer isn't quite as even because depending on how porous the rock is, soaks in a little bit. And this, this rock here, it's like I'm not trying to get perfect lines or anything like that. I'm going to make it quite scribbly. And I sort of scribbled in the pen. Yeah, I'll pop that nose in now. Forgot about his nose. Uh, yeah, quite a scribbly look. And that's when I added the color. I'm not looking for perfect lines or anything. I just want to come in and really Hang on, just let me get the paint. You know how hard it is to talk and paint at the same time. So let's do this. I'm going to do a little bit of shading. So I'll put some brown onto the carrot. And what I'm doing, you know, before I showed you my water, so I'm dipping my brush in that water. I wipe off the excess water. And then I was just touching my paintbrush onto the tip of the pen and picking up color. See here? I just picked up a bit of that darker color. And this time I'm not putting the shading in any particular area or order. I'm just doing a couple of smushes around without even really thinking about it. If you just sped it up a little bit and just start laying colour down and not thinking about it and just let your higher self decide what needs colour, um, the hip hop rock can happen. <laughs> okay, so you can just see how I'm just smushing that around. If I thought about it logically, I would put this shading in completely different places. I don't want to think about it, just want to lay it down. You can see on that one I did a bit of a scribble on the rock and while it was wet I just got my paintbrush and I smushed it in and like blended it across the rock. Okay, found the black paint pen. So now I'm just going to go over it and just outline my shapes and put the face of the bunny in. Making my happy smiley one. Got both sides, put the eyes, a few little eyelashes there, 
and we'll just go around the edges. See sometimes I do a little back and forth movement and I do this when I'm doing scribble, more scribbly sort of stuff. Instead of just going on a, con trying on a continuous line, I just sort of go back and forth in a little bit of a scribbly fashion and that gives me that look that I'm, I'm after. Of course we've got some great painters in our Facebook group and they have the exact opposite habit of mine. They love everything really neat and their lines extremely neat and everything. So this is going to be more of a personal habit, how yours ends up. It's like what appeals to you rather than, you know, you don't have to copy mine just because that's what I'm doing. You know, you can sit there and, and do it quite neatly, but you can see I'm just scribbling in the elements there. This could totally drive someone else up the wall that likes to see all the even lines and everything. So really just go with what's in your heart and which way you want to see it. Okay, finished all the outlines. I'm just going to go into some areas and give it a little bit of extra depth by just shading in that black into the little corner areas. Okay, and just grab the white pen then and add your highlights. Remember what we say, anywhere you think the, the light might hit your rock and it would reflect off the colours a little bit. We just add some little white dots and dashes in there. So have a think how you're going to do the hip hop rock. You know, are you going to, hearts right, hearts everywhere. Are you going to do the nice smooth lines or, or like I did, just do a little bit scribbly. You decide which way you're going to go but I would love to see what you paint. So pop over to our Facebook group and share your end design in Reef Rocks free workshops and I'll see you there.